Hi guys and welcome to another Divi video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Well today we're just going to create this simple image with a grayscale on hover and a bit of a box shadow there. Really easy to do with the Divi theme so let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is enable the Visual Builder. Once enabled let's go down to where we want to work and I'm simply going to click the little dark button to add a module. I've got a section, the blue tab, with a row that's got two columns in it and I'm just adding the module to the second column here. DV comes with all these modules as standard. We're simply going to roll down and add the image module. There we go and it's put a placeholder in there for us. Simply click on the image and add your image. and there it is. Now you can link it obviously if you want to link your image when they hover over it if you want to link it to something you can do that. You can have it open in a light box which is a nice idea. It will put a bigger version of it on your screen. I'm not going to have a background in there for this particular one. I'm not going to have an admin label. Now when I hover over it I want it to go black and white or perhaps we could start with it being black and white and then when you hover over it it could become cover color so let's do that so let's go to our design tab alignment wise probably want it in the middle but that's entirely up to you and uh, let's go down and put a little bit of box shadow on there there we go it's just added a bit of shadow lifts it off the page a little bit then just below our shadow is the filters tab. We click on that one. What I want to do is make it black and white initially then when we hover over it it wants to become cover, color. So all of our little headings here have got these icons beside them. If you click on the one with the arrow it'll give you a desktop and a hover desktop is when your mouse is not on it so that's the one I want to make black and white and to do that just bring saturation all the way down to zero that'll make it black and white and when we're hovering on it I want it to be fairly vibrant so I want the color back I may even take it up a little bit so it's a little extra vibrant something like that now the initial transition time by default 300 milliseconds I want mine to take about a second and to make it take a second we need to go to our advanced down to transitions and there's the 300 milliseconds just take this up to whatever you want I want mine to be around a second or 1000 milliseconds let's save that now presuming that you're happy and you want all your gallery images to start out black and white and fade and do that we can save this as a preset new feature that they've just introduced with Divi preset every module's got that now I can say create new preset from current st styles and I'll just call it BW image for a black and white image I don't want to assign it as a default because that means every time I add a, an image it'll do it but I just want the option to be able to add it to the images that I want so let's save this save this and save our module now before I exit and look at this let's add a couple more images and apply those styles just to make sure it's all going to work for us remember we haven't done that with our first one but we can apply the style so let's just add a new module right here a little dark one again I'm just going to add an image Okay, let's grab this image this time and preset default BW image. Can I add that one to that one? That one's turned that one black. We'll do the same thing over here. Let's add one more image. Yeah, let's try that one. And again, let's add the preset BW image great now let's save 
purple button at the bottom, save the page changes, save draft or publish if you're ready. Now let's exit the visual builder and take a look at what we've got. Let's go down to where we were. Okay, there's our first image, starts off at black and white. When we hover over it, it gets nice and vibrant. If we click on it, it'll open in a light box. And the ones below should do exactly the same. As you see, they're black and white initially. When we hover over it, it takes a second for them to become color. And this first one, I think we've got it going the other way, but you can just apply the preset to that one and it'll turn it the same as the other ones. So there's how to use the image model module in the Divi theme and add a couple of interesting effects. So I hope you've enjoyed that and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie with System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.